Well, 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 well. Morning. Morning. Yeah. Wow. No strangers here. No, this is the nicest day we've had in a long time. It's supposed to hit like 80 degrees. Water's 64 degrees. It's just starting to come up. It's officially springtime. <laughs> yeah. We get these kind of windows, don't we, Dave? We Last do. This is crazy. It's early April. It's beautiful out here. Yeah, we're all wearing your stomping grounds, aren't we? Yeah, we got we got this whole bay to ourselves today, probably. And uh, Dave's on some fish, so we're, yeah. count, we're counting on Dave today. Yeah, what started this? What prompted this? We were down at the Del Mar show here a week and a half ago, and we popped out on a Sunday morning, and we had 50 fish in 45 minutes. It was ridiculously good. Spotted bay bass. Good ones, too. Rubbed it's good it fishing. In, rubbed it in everyone's faces. I did. Yes, I did. did. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's our time. Yeah, it's our time. It's our turn. Give us a little breakdown of what the uh, tides are doing right now. Uh, the tide is... Tide plays a major role with spotted bay bass fishing, doesn't it? Uh, it absolutely does. We want tidal movement. We want the, we want the food chain stirred up. And uh, we're sitting on just about a low right now. You can see on the Simrad. We're at 0.21 feet at 641 Ooh. now, and we're coming up to a 3.7 at noon. That's an excellent tide. That's an excellent tide. You want a medium tide, something between a four and a five tidal, four to five foot tidal swing in the range. Um, if, if it's too much tide, if it's like a seven foot tide, the fish can hunker down. You need to uh -huh. fish the back bay. Yeah, I noticed you mentioned eelgrass last time. Are we hitting docks or do we stick to the eelgrass? Well, let's see what's happening. The eelgrass was on fire last time. We were throwing the A rigs and some crank baits, spinner baits. I mean, Ooh, whatever fun. we threw at them, it was, uh, it was crazy. Light line, good times. It was okay. fun. Well, I'm going to fish the Alabama rig a lot today. Okay. On the Alabama rig, I fish, uh, uh, we're, we're fishing Komodo 200 sizes. We'll talk about the advantages yeah. of that today quite a bit because I'm digging on those reels. But uh, what I run, I run 60 to 80 pound braid to a 40 pound uh, fluorocarbon top shot. And the main reason I do the top shot is for abrasion resistance. Other than that, I'd fish straight braid on it. I figure if they'll bite a big piece of wire, that they'll bite braid, right? <laughs> But uh, I, I fished that 40 pound top shot just to be on the safe side. We're gonna be fishing that Komodo 200. That's that new all stainless steel reel. The things are awesome. Built for what we're doing today. Uh, there's a pipe right, uh, it's probably right by the buoy right there because I think the buoy marks it. So what are we seeing right here, Dave? What do you think? Got some Corvina chasing baits around. Oh, I just got whacked. It's not going to last. <laughs> See, we keep it up around the surface. Yes. You got halibut, Corvina, you got spotties, you got sand bass. Oh, in, in Mission Bay on a spinner bait, I caught my biggest halibut. It was 26 pounds. So there is big halibut. Uh, there, oh, there's big halibut. Oh, there. yeah. there's a hook set in the back. Oh, geez. He's cutting you off your interview, dude. So much is that for a spotty? It's a spotty. <laughs> there we go. All right. That's Game what we're on. looking for. There we go. For the spotties. Oh. Look at that. Engulf that thing, too, that little dude. This is it, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, this whole area. Go. This is where we were at last Sunday, as a matter of fact. And yeah, we crushed them. We got a really good looking tide today. Let's, uh, let's see what happens. What'd you do? Did you launch off the beach? Uh, we actually had a little rental skiff out of Dana Landing. Oh, nice. oh, sorry, sorry to interrupt back oh, there. Oh, you're cutting them I off now. No, I see how it works. Oh, look, Dave's on. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to tie a topwater on. <laughs> Surface I didn't bring any hard baits. It'd be a good hard bait time. I do have a, I might have a jerk bait or two in there. Okay. Wicked little fish. Getting, uh, getting the whole thing of me not being able to get it out. Here we go. The question is, <laughs> it's every cast. Good. Tiny. Yeah, but, but for a mini model. Yep. Uh, 14 inches, which 14 inches is a very, very healthy uh, spotted bay bass. They're not that easy to come by. That's what I'm trying to get at, yeah. And uh, uh, a lot of times in tournaments, I mean, you can go and catch 25, 30 fish and not run across one legal. It's not uncommon. A 14 inch is a very, very good, yeah. healthy fish, like in the two pound range. So, uh, and they fight. The, oh, yeah. I mean, these things, pound for pound, these things are the hardest fighters I think I've ever run across. They, 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 they're a lot of fun. Even the small ones are fun. They bite hard. They're very aggressive fish. Come on. Oh, it was a matter of time before we had doubles. 
Oh, I got a double with a mackerel. <laughs> Bye, catch. There's a good fish. Oh, Dave. There That's we go. Oh. Fish. They're growing. That's what we're looking for right there. Right. Nice. That's the one. All right. They're getting bigger. Right. See you, buddy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Come on, make me so much better. for your secret spot. <laughs> he really just shut That's you down. Good. I didn't mean to, but <laughs> put directions like a little map. <laughs> oh, that was killer. Oh, back on. Yeah, a little mini. That's where you're disappointed if you don't get a bite every cast. They're just biting anything. <laughs> it's more about skill and presentation. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're saying, okay, they're growing. Yeah, they're getting bigger. What I'm doing now is just keeping it above the eelgrass, keeping it in the strike zone, and slow grinding it. But a lot of times, they want it presented a certain way. And I'll talk a little bit about presentation if I can get this fish to settle And I'm down. noticing you got all one color except for one. Yeah, I, I have, I fish natural colors on the outside and then something to give it a little contrast in the middle. Cast it out and as you can see we're in just almost seven feet of water. I, I'll kind of count it down to about five feet. There's a fish. Count it down to about five feet and right now the fish are biting so good. All I'm doing is turning the handle and just keeping it just above the grass just above the yield grass and they're nailing it. <laughs> These guys are mean. Yeah, wicked. Wicked. <laughs> Top water. Really? Oh, dude, I just got, almost got the thing ripped out of my hand. Oh, oh Dave! Dude, I hate to talk about the spot. Let's go down there. Let's let you go. Go home, go home, buddy. Tell your friends about it. You got it right. One of the advantages of the Komodo 200 size, they come in a 7.3 to 1 gear ratio. And like this fish, he just knocked a lot of slack in my line. When they come from behind and hit it hard, and he knocks a ton of slack in your line. This gear ratio, I think it's uh, 7.3. Oh, I got a double. I got a double. But it, it takes that slack up out of the line really well, and it also works for uh, uh, if you're dock fishing. You know, when you got slack in your line when you're pitching on pilings, pitching, yep. man, you always got that slack in your line. And this 200 is is awesome to take that slack out of out of your line, just like I did on this bite here. I had two fish that just my line just went slack. I'm able to take that up real fast, and that, that's a huge advantage to that gear ratio. You paid the price, Mr. Spotties. That's what happens on the A rig. Two, one. Two. Two. So, how many hooks are actually on that A rig? This has five hooks. Five total. So, this guy here is now tailless, but so there's five individual hooks. You got four arms and then one right down the middle. Man, does it feel like summertime or what? Ah, here's one. Nice. So, 
there's some beach fish. Yeah, for sure. Double. Double going. Yeah, Four days of just fishing. This time we're doing all big tarpon. No, no, no. I was gonna say grass, but no. Well, you felt bigger than that little dude. Well, that's a piece of wood. That is good fish. He's got a little chunk on him. Crazy to be able to come back here and maybe put like a little tournament uh, sack together. 14, three. Two, at least two for sure, I'd say. Yeah, a little bit orange tint to it. Yeah, it's lovely. That's what I'm like doing this thing. Nice. Every cat. Every stinking cat. I do a three or four turn San Diego jam knot. It's a staple for me. And my connection is a John Collins knot. You can see it's pretty clean. Yep. I love that knot. That's super nice if it has to go through the guides. On this, I was fishing 40 on the Alabama rig because that's just for abrasion resistance. I go down to 20 here. Some guys, some guys fish six pound tests for spotties. You know, I'm fishing pilings a lot and I can't afford to lose fish. This is solid, you know? So it, it works for me for 20 pounds, pretty much my staple for spotty. Are all these guys fishing? Ty, you've been running this Simrad stuff for a while now, haven't you? I, I, I can't live without it. Once you have the, the 12 incher, I'll never go back. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else is really small to me now, and it gives me good guidance. It's never failed on me. I have this and the one on front. Yep. I'm a Simrad guy. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Spotty hump. Just try right around here for a second. What I'm fishing here is a Yum Flash Mob Junior. Has the spinners, really light wire. The lighter wire you can get away with, the more action you're going to get. Uh, Dave's on back there. Ruining your interview again, Ty. Sorry. Sorry. So anyway, I'm fishing a, a Flash Mob Junior made by Yum. I tend to like uh, spinners on my on my uh, umbrella rigs. Um, just add, add that extra flash. If the water's clear, you can get away without them sometimes. On the bottom of this rig, I'm running quarter ounce VMC boxer heads. And on the middle and on the top of the rig, I'm running SBJ swim bait heads made by VMC. What this does, it gives it a little heavier weight on the bottom and tends to make a little keel off of this so that it'll run steady and not spin on me. Lots of ways to fish the umbrella rig. From a straight grind, just try and keep it in the strike zone. They love that, but there's days that, that they want to hit it with action. So if I cast it out, let it sink in the strike zone, and maybe just give it a tug. And if I tug straight and let it sink, it's gonna sink straight down. If I tug like this, I'm actually coming up at an angle and holding the rod tip up and it's going back down at an angle. Those are two different presentations. You can speed it up, slow it down, countless ways that you can create a trigger for the strike. You gotta find out what the fish want and let them tell you for the day. And your location bases how you fish it as well too, whether it's around docks or eelgrass or... Oh, absolutely. And, and a rigs, Alabama rigs will absolutely work around docks. Yeah, They're... long cast is what I mean, not like flipping and pitching. Oh, absolutely. Right? And that's one reason I'm fishing this rod, it's an EV, Okuma EVX, and it's called a big plug cranking A-rig rod. Let's do mine again real quick. 
<laughs> I didn't like it. You guys on a nice one, folks. Could be a keeper. Could be a keeper. Catfish. Yep. Very catfish. He ate every single. Look at him. <laughs> wow. That's pretty. Look at him. That's greedy, is right. Really? Do you need every one of them, buddy? Oh, right as that thing was on the drop. Did you see that? Today we're fishing the Komodo SS. This is the new 200 size reel. The SS and the Komodo SS stands for stainless steel. It's got a stainless steel main gear, pinion gear, spool shaft, and drive shaft. Uh, this reel's built tough. It's got 20 pounds of drag. You can really button it down when you're fishing these heavy Alabama rigs out here in Southern California. Button it down, you can set the hook. You're not going to get any slippage. Incredible little reels. 20 pounds of drag, all stainless steel, built exactly for what we're doing today in Southern California here. Something's chasing it. Come up again. There you go. I got you. I got you. I got you. There you go. Yeah, yeah I got Lord. it. I got it. That's awesome. First Friday. Can't get their dog. Oh, 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 that's a good fish. Good timing too, Mingo. Nice. That's a nice looking fish. See, that's what you want. Just one bait. That's Eat. all. That's all I ask. Just one bait. Easy to take out. And Shay's gonna back up a bit. <laughs> Shay is smart. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. Yep. Spotted bay bass. Great little fish, man. Beautiful. Thanks for the fun. Yep. Short, a little grumper. Yeah, brawled, that's for sure. Second time we've done this drift, we're, we're kind of winding down here. I, I don't yeah. know how many fish we've caught today. 40, 50, wild guess. 40, 50 fish. Yeah. This morning was was as wide open as wide open can be. They weren't huge fish, but they were good fish and they were fun. What's going on over there, good dude? Fish. Wow. Good fish. Wow. He's, he's foul. He's foul. That's hooked. a good fish. Good yeah. fish is foul hooked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. <laughs> That's a good fish this fella hooked. I thought he was a monster. Yeah, he turned sideways on you. Look at him. Just... There you go. Woo-wee! Oh, what do you got there, Dave? Yeah, a nice one. Yeah. There we go. Is that what you wanted? Is that what you wanted, huh? Oh, this other hook is way closer to my finger. He's like, dude. Oh, you triple banged yeah, him. Mm -hmm. Don't wiggle. Don't wiggle. I just said don't wiggle. All right, Ty. Thanks a lot for uh, taking Dave out today. That was a good times. You never know what you're going to get. And we had a great, great day of fishing. And uh, we caught fish all morning. We did. We came back to the other spot and they were, they were still there. If anybody's interested, I have a... YouTube channel called Calico Country. Most of what I do is I do some instruction videos and just do some music videos and stuff. If guys want to watch that, I, you know, it's awesome. It all has to do a lot with inshore fishing though, correct? Yeah, it's, calicos it's actually and spotties. Calicos and Spotties. That's what I do, Calicos okay. and Spotties. So I appreciate that. And I appreciate the people that keep me going, especially Okuma. Okuma is a great brand, a great company. I'm very fortunate to work with them. Uh, all the Rapala brands, MC Swim Baits, the guys at Wide Open Throttle Marine that take great care of my boat. I really appreciate that. And uh, Simrad, which provides the best high-tech products out there. So thanks very much to everybody. Dave, thanks for rallying us up and uh, awesome. letting us uh, play with those new reels, It dude. was a great trip. Yeah, those uh, Komodo 200s are amazing. And check those out. They're at okumafishingusa.com. It's the Komodo 200. Great little reels. And they've been out for, what'd you say, three or four months now? About four months now at this point. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, we look forward to using more of them. It was great. I had a good time today. All right, guys. Till next time. Thanks. Thanks. Good. Thanks. Appreciate it. See you, yeah. boys. You bet. You bet. All right.